from these three days are uh, four, five, okay? Uh, four of them are linked to the way probably you, you lead an organization, whether it's a business unit, a department, or a company, uh, small company or big company. The first one is probably beware of yourself, okay? Beware of yourself, why? Because uh, as a manager, as a leader, your uh, prime responsibility is to make decisions. Okay? You make decisions every day. Okay? That's your role. You are paid for that. Okay? You need to decide whether you allocate some resources or not allocate some resources, whether we should go left or whether we should go right, whatever, etc. You probably noticed that most of your decisions probably are biased one way or another, okay? So that's why I'm always saying, beware of yourself, not be too much overconfident about who you are and the way you decide, okay? Even for decisions which seems quite simple and uh, uh, or where probably you, 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 you're just thinking, okay, it's already worked, I know, I'm familiar with that, etc. So I decide, yes, no, uh, just somebody is coming to me, okay, what should we do? Should that or this is right and you say do that or do this okay it can bring you to, to, to many mistakes many times it's small mistakes sometimes it's huge mistakes the second one uh, is probably and uh, it has been uh, reminded during the, the round table of the first day is definitely listen to your customers okay listen to your customers the difficulty is that sometimes the way customers talk to you Okay, they are not giving you the right message. You need to understand, because sometimes the customers don't know how to express what they have in mind. And um, if I can uh, uh, give you a certain advice, uh, refer to the concept of job to be done. Are you familiar with the concept of job to be done? Of Christian Christensen, okay? So the concept is very simple and uh, you, you, you can look for uh, uh, Christian, Christian uh, Christensen, yes, I think uh, that's the right name, okay, uh, he has a website uh, which is uh, the innovator, something like that, okay, and the idea is to say, okay, even when somebody is not able to, to uh, formalize and to express their need, because sometimes you, you, you don't have a need, okay, try to understand why is he trying to, to do something, okay, and my experience here was because I was involved in the development of internet 20 years ago, okay, I was part of the team who brought internet in Spain, okay, you knew uh, when I do Spain, uh, you knew it's a drug, today it's orange in Spain, okay. <clears throat> 20 years ago, when you came to customers and say, uh, okay, do you need internet, okay, and the answer was, right, what's for, okay, I don't know what to do with internet, right, no use, I don't understand. Yes, because internet by itself is nothing, okay? The value of internet is what you are doing thanks to one technology, okay? So that's probably the, the, the second advice that we, that we got. And that's from this customer's input, okay? It drives the way you, you can lead the change within your, your organization. The third advice, uh, my third takeaway, is definitely encourage cooperation within the team, okay? Uh, we had a wonderful demonstration uh, this morning, thanks to, to Laura, okay? It will show us something very funny, okay? As long as you start cheating with your, your people working with you, they will cheat with you, okay? So you need to be honest, you need to say, uh, I don't know, uh, okay, but definitely uh, if you are not trying to have a collaborative attitude within your organization, okay, it will never fly because yourself, by yourself, there's nothing you can, uh, you can do. The fourth one is, uh, the American has a very good expression, which is walk the talk. Okay, another way to say that is do uh, what I say, but also say what I do, okay? Meaning you need to remain fully consistent with yourself. You cannot ask something, okay, if definitely you are not uh, uh, demonstrating that you behave according to what you ask. Okay, sometimes it's very difficult. Huh? Uh, so 
It's very important to, to, to do that if you want to, to uh, make sure that uh, people will follow you okay, to uh, face a change situation. I don't like the word change, actually. Okay? Because the word change implies something which is we are in a very stable and beautiful situation. There is a painful moment to go through. Okay, and we will find again a new stable situation. Today, it's no longer applicable in any uh, organization. Okay? <coughs> Actually, what you're doing is permanent transformation. You see? What was done yesterday, yes, okay, it's good. Okay? But it's probably not the appropriate answer for tomorrow. Okay? So you need to have people making sure that they naturally <coughs> accept to transform every day. They are creative, they, are in, uh, they take a lot of initiative. And when we talk about agile organization, okay, it's just to say which are adaptative organization which without any effort, without any transformation project, etc., etc., naturally adapt to their, uh, to their environment, to their customer needs. The last point I, I wanted to mention, and that's uh, <coughs> made the beauty and the difficulty of your job, is that actually you, you need to consider which kind of situation you are addressing. Because you have three main categories of situations. You have situations where you need to make decisions, but <coughs> it's perfectly known, okay? You know everything, etc. You can uh, manage, okay, and that's typically the command and control style of management, okay. Command and control, okay. Just imagine you are on board your flight, flying back to Madrid or Barcelona tonight, etc. Something go wrong with the engine, okay. Probably the, the pilot will not uh, come back to you and say, hey, listen. I don't know exactly. Uh, we should have some collaborative teams, and I propose to uh, implement some project teams to decide what could be the best option. I'm sure you will hate that. Okay, the pilot knows exactly what to do because, from experience, okay, all almost all the situation have been already uh, addressed, have been already known, okay? So the point is, when something happens, you make the decision very quickly, you know, and, and that's it. You have a second kind of situation where I would say things are, uh, if you are optimist, partially known, okay? Or if you are more pessimist, okay, partially unknown, okay? That's typically the kind of situation where what you will try to achieve is to empower people to solve the different difficulties. Because maybe by yourself you, you, you are not fully confident that uh, the appropriate answer, but bringing many people on board, most of the time, okay, you will get the right answer. Okay? But the implicit which is behind that is that more or less you have the answer. You're not fully confident you have the answer, but you have the answer. And your real objective, what you want to achieve, is <coughs> to have people engagement. Okay? It's not so much the question to find the issue or the solution, but it's much more to have people getting on board and really being involved. <coughs> the last uh, category of situation is we don't know. We absolutely don't know. We have no answer. We don't know. We don't know what might happen. We, we don't have the solution. This is where I would say collaborative work is the most efficient solution. Okay? But you need to accept also that as a manager, you don't have the answer. So meaning you are part of the team looking for the answer. Okay? It doesn't mean because you have three stars on your, on your shoulder that uh, okay, you're the boss and you will, you, you will know what to do. No, it means that you accept to work with your team. And this is where you definitely need to rely on people okay, to use methods. We mentioned a few of them over these three days. Design thinking, for example, which has been mentioned this morning, for example, uh, through the different examples of, of Vincent, you have the solution. Okay? So, meaning, this is how you will explore. 
Okay, and that's the beauty of what you have to do. Meaning, in the morning you need to be in the command and control mode. Okay, the next hour you need to be fully in the collaborative exploration mode, and maybe at noon you should have the next and following attitude. Okay, and you need to play with these different situations and with these different kind of behaviors. Okay. And organization transformation, change management is all about that. It brings you back to, to yourself as a leader. Okay? It's not only saying I knew the eight steps from Cotter and I know how to structure something and I know that I should address the distribution channel or the visibility or the way I talk to my customers. Okay, that's true. You need to know that. Okay? But actually, the most important thing when you want to make sure the organization will, will adapt is to think about yourself, okay? Because yourself, you are in a, a seat where you are seen by your people as the manager, as the boss, one way or another, okay? So don't expect the people to follow you if yourself you are not showing exactly what to do, okay? And not leaving them, follow me, I have the answer, Okay, but creating the situation where the people will be able to give the best of themselves and where they will trust you. Okay, so that was <clears throat> my wrap-up, I would say, of these three days. Uh, we tried to.